We will now introduce mathematical symbols for our previous example of this little free link serial chain robot. The tool tip vector is specified by the symbol T and it will have an X and Y coordinate as we assume we are in a 2D world. For each of the links, we can specify a theta value that specifies the rotation of that link. So theta 0 specifies the rotation of link 0, theta 1 the rotation of link 1, theta 2 the rotation of link 2. We will often write all the theta values in one vector as shown here. For each of the links we can also specify the translation the link vector as we call it and for link 0 we have L0 for link 1, L1 for link 2 we have L2 they all have the same structure consisting of an X and Y translation coordinate in our examples we will use the same initial translation of all our links which means they all have X coordinate 1 and all have Y coordinate 0 this is a similar choice we have made. We could in fact allow our link vectors to be free parameters, free, val free variables, but here we just assume they are constants for simplicity. Finally we have the end effect vector denoted by the symbol E. These two have two coordinates x and y. We now have most symbols in place and we can start working out how coordinate transformations works. Initially, we are given the tooltip vector in link coordinate frame 2. So that means in implicitly that t is given in t2. We write it with this index notation where the bracket parameters with the subindex indicates which frame we are referring to. To get the red arrow with respect to link coordinate frame 1, we need to transform it by theta 2 and L2 to get T with respect to link frame 1. So that is T with respect to 1 would be equal to the transformation given by L2 and theta 2 applied to T with respect to frame 2, which ends up simplifying to this expression here. Now we know t with respect to link frame 1 and we can transform that into link frame 0. So this is shown here. We know t in link frame 1. We will apply the transformation given by L1 and theta 1 to get t with respect to link frame 0. And substituting in our results from previously, we can see that we get t transformed by link transformation from link 2 and link transformation from link 1. Now we can finally make the last transformation to get the end effect vector. The end effect vector lives in the world coordinate system which in our index notation would correspond to minus 1. So now we take tooltip tool tip vector with respect to the zero link frame and apply the transformation of link 0 to get the end effector in the world coordinate system. And writing out all our expressions so far, we will see that we now have the formula we need. We take the tooltip vector, transform it by link 2, theta 2, L2, by link 1, and finally by link 0 to get the end effector position. In summary, we have learned how to take the tooltip vector and apply a sequence of transformations in order to find the end effect vector. We often assume that the link vectors are constant and in those cases we will simplify notation by simply omitting the link vectors from our notation 
So we will write like this, transformation of theta zero, transformation of theta one, transformation of theta two, and even more shorthand notation we simply just use indexing and the transformations to imply what link we are working with respect to. The sequence of transformations can be written as a function applied to a tooltip vector, or we can sometimes also use the tooltip vector as an argument in the function.